Hi there! In this video, I'll show you multiple ways to rotate lines in your drawing, a fundamental step in many designs. Let's draw a rectangle to illustrate rotation. The first way to rotate is to enter the rotation angle in the Nudge Edit control. Let's enter 7.5 degrees. Now we can click the Rotate Right button to rotate by 7.5 degrees. Or rotate left to rotate the other way. The second way to rotate is by choosing Line Rotate from the menu. If we choose the Rotate Radio button, we can enter a rotation angle and click OK. The third way to rotate is by clicking on a line once, waiting a brief moment, and clicking on the line again. This shows the rotation handles. Now we can drag the handles to rotate with the mouse. But this method is not recommended for rotating by a precise angle. Also notice that we can drag the center of rotation like this. If we rotate now, the rotation revolves around the new center. We can combine this method with the nudge method like this. Now let's apply the rotation ability to create a 2D sprocket. First, let's create a 2 inch circle. and zoom to fit the screen. Then let's draw a small rectangle and set the size to 0.5 by 0.15. Let's snap the center to a snap point on the circle. Now we'll add some angled lines and use the eraser for the first tooth. Then select the tooth and click for rotation mode. Now reposition the center of rotation. Let's suppose we want 18 teeth. Set the rotation nudge value to 360 over 18. Click the repeat button. Nudge rotate right once. Use the eraser tool to erase the inside arc. And delete segments, leaving one complete tooth. Click the repeat button. Nudge rotate right to complete the design. Let's check the 3D view. Our 2D sprocket is complete. Try these methods of rotation yourself. They will come in handy when designing your parts. Thanks for watching and be sure to see our other videos for more useful tips.